the thing I'm probably the most proud of is the fact that Andreessen even has a role like mine, which is having a person that can be an expert, as you will, or an advisor to all of our portfolio companies when it comes to all things Asia. In the last couple of years, I've really altered my role to still look for great companies here in the States, but take a very sharp view in understanding new trends that are emerging from China. And that's what I'm extremely passionate about, kind of playing this critical bridge for China and the U.S. And I believe China will only grow in importance, especially in tech, but other industries as well. If you look at all the tier one VC firms in Silicon Valley, uh, none of them have a role that is specifically designed to offer an Asian network to portfolio companies. And I think that's a testament to both um, how Andreessen Horowitz is really good at listening to what their entrepreneurs need, but also how the tech industry is constantly evolving. Technology is something where you need to be evolving all the time, and I find that incredibly exciting. There are several cases of U.S. tech companies that have tried to go to China and a varying levels of success. And I think the, the misnomer of figuring out a China strategy is that you have to have a team there, you have to sell your product, and you have to make revenue from China. The reality is there are so many ways to work with the China market. So maybe you're a U.S. tech company and you just want to fundraise from China. And that's a great opportunity for lots of tech companies right now because there are so many Chinese funds that are U.S. dollar denominated that are coming to the States looking for great investment opportunities. Maybe you do have a product you want to sell to the Chinese consumer, and if that's the case, you need to have a great localized team, understanding local taste, that really has a strong sense of what your competitors are doing. One way that I oftentimes like to counsel our portfolio companies is, if you're trying to think about your China strategy, first start with understanding your competition. Because to me, China is a place of massive experimentation. When you have the scale of 1.3 billion people, there are so many startups cropping up every day that every company in the U.S. likely has several counterparts already in China. And if you take the time to download those apps, use those web services, and walk through everything from the registration flow to the purchasing, and just understand all the features they've baked in, I think there's a lot of reverse inspiration that can happen by taking what's working in China and applying those product principles to companies in the States. <laughs>